realize that not having a synopsis of arts and culture gives you a legitimate excuse to avoid this controversy. Yeah. Unless you don't want to avoid it. Well, I don't mind controversy. Yeah. What's your feeling about that? Controversy? No, it's no Seuss. Uh, oh, it's Dr. Seuss. I think it's ridiculous to complain about that. Really, I mean, here's someone that's beloved by thousands of people, and, and you know, he just celebrated his 100th birthday without being criticized. I don't know who the uh, uh, artists who criticized him were or what their motivation was, but, you know, none of this came up in the uh, capital campaign or the, uh, the fundraising, and uh, I, I agree with the mayor on it that I think it's political incorrectness gone too far. But, but you do think, now the Seuss Museum is, is one of its kind in the world. Right. He was one of its kind in right. the world. But you think that the city could help make people more aware of it? I mean, I, I'm not sure oh. how many people, maybe now they're yeah. aware of it. Yes. I'm not sure how many people like out there or well beyond think really know there is such a thing as a Seuss Museum. Right, because it's the only one that Oh yeah, it's the only one in the country, and you know to have gotten all the permission from from the family, and uh, to to have gotten uh, Dr. Seuss's own studio, everything that he worked with is right here in the city of Springfield, uh, and I I think it'd be people will definitely want to come here to see that. You know he helped so many children to read. I think it's terrible to be. Uh, so critical of his of his work, and he's not here. That was like 1937, so right. the world was a different place yeah. in 1937.